Hello and welcome back, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Europe Universe Solace 4. This is the, the Portugal playthrough of trade company mechanics and stuff. Uh, I just noticed between episodes that I could theoretically rival Aragon, Aragon. So I'm considering paying the 96 dip to, to... to stop being rivaled to the Mamluks in favor of getting that. Oh hey, we're up to six Cardinals now. Cool. But um, having him as a rival will boost us all the way back up to... Hey, we're first rate great power, by the way. We've sur sur surpassed Ming. Ming does not have the Renaissance or colonialism yet. Good. He doesn't deserve it anyway. Uh, we have missionary free. Nothing to convert. Okay. And we have a diplomat free who is. What's he gonna do? Eventually, I want to get a claim on Tlemcen. Um, Tafialalt kind of desires land. Hopefully, France doesn't want any of that land. He doesn't. Good. I could call Air. I could call France in on this war with Aragon. He doesn't want any land, and we do have favors with him. And I could just have him win the war for me against Austria while my army's off taking care of other stuff. But we kind of need, need to deal with some stuff. Portugal gets new domains. Nice. Back up to 120 global settlers. It's not bad. Time to switch to the to the other to the next lower, like the eighth great eighth rank great power. Poland. Poland who didn't take the personal union over Lithuania, because he's a dummy. Also conquistador. One thing I do want to be doing right now is I want to be exploring, so. Tyrant Explorer. It's actually pretty good. Wow. Gabriel Coutinho, 3422. I guess that does happen when you have 70.6 naval tradition. Get some pretty good pretty good guys. Cuba's opinion of us goes down, or that's fine. We want to explore. There's a mission we need to accomplish at the very bottom of the Portuguese tree. Uh, I need to discover. One province in South China region, and at least one province in the Japan region. So we gotta get all the way up into there. We want to explore in... East China? Probably East China Sea, right? Go explore! Don't die. No army professionalism? Yep. Wouldn't have a single bit. I've been, I've been trying to put down unrest. You know, I've been using them for auto-suppression in some of these areas. Instead. We're still going to have the Fulani Separatists, probably. So we, we could drill, but... I don't even have a leader for that right now. And we're doing a military ID group, so I'd rather not. We can grant a Conquistador again in 31, and a regular general in 29. So maybe in February? Of next year, I'll hire a general. Assuming we can find find some influence to work with. I think that the burgers influence just came down quite a bit. We have high naval attrition. It's because my ships are too stupid to travel through the right territory. Obviously. I can't say no to this money. I just can't. It's too much money. My naval tradition. I have the two world ports. I want to just build like 10 of these damn things and have like plus 5 naval tradition per year. Like Cantabria? Why don't we just upgrade this one too? I only own two provinces in that state. Or I could do it in Tangier, but I only own two provinces here as well. 30 development up there versus less development up here, down here. Why 
Why not? What, you want manpower instead? You guys think we should do the interior one? Alright, fine, let's do one interior one. World Trade Center. It's the World Trade Center building! <laughs> Local manpower modifier for the ev for every province in the entire state. So, these guys now, it's like having a barracks everywhere. That's pretty good. So we should at least be suppressing some of the lands that we have on Rustin. Manpower! Oh, that's what you meant. We actually have positive manpower. Yes, that's true. We do also have positive manpower as well. Somehow. Where is my navy that's ferrying the army? Songhai has declared a war. Il Bourbon has completed. The next subject has expired. So Il Bourbon is uh, pretty well developed. It's got sugar. Much better than the fish we found here. 0.13, 0 0.16. I do not have enough building slots. There's just so many buildings to build everywhere. Also, I did want to build the thing in Porto. Any factories, please. What are the blue things on his map? What blue things? What? They have me confused. We can get a claim against Tlemcen. We get a claim on his actual capital, so we can hopefully demand that at some point. More of his trade power. My army has arrived, and the Kilwin Separatists are coming right to me. Great. Come fight me in real life, behind a river. On the construction tab? The blue things in the construction tab? The blue things. I'm not seeing what you're talking about. Sorry. You think it's called water? <laughs> what? Sometimes I don't understand you, Twitch chat. You guys are confusing. Put these guys back on auto suppression, they'll take care of it, and the army can now return home. Never did get another claim on Sakalava. There's just too many different things to try to take care of right now. Still thinking we use France to to win the majority of the war with Aragon. I guess I will start spying on Sakalava. We have more rebels in Jolof and Fulani. England is a great power, and we have a new treasure fleet. Blue things on the map? You mean down here? Yeah, those are allied troops. That, I guess that could be what you're talking about. Making 66 ducats a month right now. Spending a bit more on navy because of the extra... Um, maintenance of these heavies. 83% control here. We do have some ships present, but I think it's probably time to pull them off and send them elsewhere. Let's find whatever fleet is in Sevilla and have them off and protect in whichever one's going to show the biggest number is usually a good idea. Don't don't listen to ones like this, Ivory Coast, where there's no competition. Zanzibar as well, Cape of Good Hope, there's no point there. But like Coromandel, 1.6, Gujarat 1.94, Gujarat makes the most sense. So that fleet can be off. Off to Gujarat. France is at peace, and I'm assuming they'll help me in my war. I also desire none of the land, except for Navarra, which won't be in the war, so... Wish they would stop driving right through all this land. Excellent vintage! They're just so bad at avoiding attrition. Auto fleet transport. Silly. Got all of his forts on. He's not worried about money. 90% on the rebels in this area. And I'm still very overextended. 68%, but they're about to finish. 
So it looks like it's about time to get to war with Aragon. So we're going to declare a conquest on Aragon, and then I'll probably just take um, Castilla la Vieja right now, since that's required to make Spain. And I might pay double points to take Zaragoza. We're very close to finishing the, the mission tree for Portugal. So, aside from this, global trade prop was 15%. It's only 20 years, but also I didn't do Hormoz. I haven't united the home region. Here comes our new heavy. That'll satisfy one more mission. January 20th. Cool. Positive prestige. We can placate Tafulalt again. Can I seize Sevilla from you yet? Nice! I can, I can finally seize Sevilla without him being disloyal. So... We will do that. It cost me a lot to core this damn thing because I, I allowed him to, to have it with the Berber traditions. I can't get rid of that penalty now, but... I need that to form Spain, so... And the game lied! He's actually disloyal. Of course. Send officers to him for now. Like to at least get the cores out of the way. That makes Burgos into a place that we can now upgrade the center of trade in. And we've created our grand fleets. Morale of navies plus 10, national sailors plus 20, yearly naval tradition plus, 10, plus 1. We've also dominated trade. The rest of the campaign, one owned province in your home trade node will get local trade power plus 10. Looks like it, um... Did it choose a location? Looks like it put it in Toledo. Dominant trade hub in Toledo. I believe if we form Spain, Madrid will become our primary uh, province. This should be backed over to trade power, by the way. Spanish ideas are pretty gar darn good. Ah, yes, that's the other thing, is we need to decide. Do we want to spend the 97 dip to make him our rival? In order to keep power projection up, I think yes. I think we do. And I still got to pay a lot to core this land. We're going to fall behind on admin for quite a while now. It's tempting. I think I might do this. Yeah, let's go up to a half price level 4. And half price level 5... Would cost us another 600 gold. He's he's still quite young, right? 41, no yearly death chance yet. He's not super young, but... Need admin points. Which we'll gain soon with our air coming into power. Hmm. Could be worse. Autonomy is pretty bad in some locations. 
Did we make Aragon a rival? Not yet. Um... Yeah, I, I think... I think we do. I think we do pay the Diplo points to make him a rival. No, he's no longer a valid rival! Damn it! Why you do this to me, game? Why do you tease me like this? That's rude. Save money to upgrade an advisor? Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking that maybe I don't want to go all the way up to level 5 right now. Church is complete. I'd rather get, like, this one upgraded to level 2, this one upgraded to level 2. Eventually I want to seize Cadiz from him as well. I want, I want everything in Iberia. You really shouldn't have had this land. This should have been Granada, but... And we would have already integrated it if it had been Granada. So we're focusing way too much right now on Iberia though, like, I, I'm not really increasing the trade flow because we're not attacking India yet. I've sent a few more boats, but that's about it. You know? And we also still need more provinces to get the expand overseas bonus. So I have, I have five provinces for sure in the Ivory Coast node, five for sure in Zanzibar, but I need five in Cape of Good Hope. So, I think my next three colonies will just be down here. It'll enhance naval force summit as well. Oh, speaking of which, this is already almost done. Let's pull the colonists back. Pull the colonists back from this one as well, and we'll head to here and to here. I think we might be able to afford running five colonies. Four, four all the time now, at least. Next tech is 11. I doubt that this guy's gonna have it ahead of us, so we'll just keep on doing ideas. Port maintenance, minus 10. Port defense, plus 20. Cool. Lords of Catalonia want a real marriage. I accept. Damn it. Can't believe... I can't believe that we didn't get Aragon rivaled. Alright, fine. Whatever. Let's make the war goal, um... Make the war goal Valencia. In order for me to form Spain, I need to own that directly. I'm worried that if I... Does Catalonia move their capital? What's the... what's the... I need, I'm just gonna look it up. Will they move their capital to Valencia? Because if they do, I can't seize it from them. Primary culture, capital provinces, Barcelona. Do we need Barcelona to form Spain? We do. So if I take Barcelona, he will make it into his capital. But it'll take him some time. Perhaps I can just immediately... Now I'm just going to demand Barcelona myself. That'll work. To war! It's time. We'll just send a 10-10 stack onto that fort, and we'll send this army into Cuenca. And we'll send our navy over here just to blockade with the heavies. I called in all my favors because I want this war to be easy against the Emperor. The Emperor might actually bring some troops into it, so... I suppose for now we're going to be stockpiling cash. Not really going to spend much money on anything else that I can think of. Austria is now the papal controller. Really? So the person that I'm at war with? Great. Let's go ahead and get Holy War. We can use the manpower. 
even though we have no cannons, I'd like to get started on the Valencia Siege. Let's get this one knocked down first. Early marriage with Tafialalt is gone. Let's re-up that. Bum bum bum. All these complete. In Humbame. Okay. That one's gonna take a little longer to complete, about a year. But we have really good global settler increase right now. And we still have our ship trade power propagation, which is good. We need more of this splendor growth. There are also some buildings I'd like to consider building that, um... This, the level, the, the, the 1,000 ducat buildings I'm, like, kind of wanting to consider right now. Five more land force limit. 50% trade steering in a specific node. Yearly army tradition. Ship costs minus two percent. Hmm. Well, the sooner you build it, the sooner you build that, the sooner it pays for itself, right? So if we built like say Portuguese township for Portugal, we get yearly army tradition plus point one, and then for the entire Coromandel Charter, the trade value goes up. Even though I don't control much of the Coromandel Charter, this entire like bottom half of India would get a trade value multiplier, which makes more money come out. Most of the money is not being generated in this location. It's mostly coming from... Cape of Good Hope is 19 ducats. Local production here is god-awful. Local production here is pretty god-awful. Local production here is only 5.9, so a lot of it's just coming from upstream. Ship costs seem useless. Well, I think that if you build all of the buildings, eventually it will stack and become kind of insane. Aztecs grant independence to a person. There goes Castilla la Vieja. Let's, um... Just advance and take these two provinces, move into Zaragoza Terol, and then forward the cannons to here. Treaty of Tordesias, Colonial Canada, is now the sole owner of England. Seems fine to me. Okay, and then all the cannons can go forward to here. Get Valencia knocked down. I also don't have the siege pipi leader there, so let's send him over as well. We'll pull this siege leader off. And we're completely out of manpower, yet again. Bambuk Separatists. Unsurprising. Uh, this army is on auto-suppression. We do have a crappy leader here. It's not really good territory, and this army's kind of small, but they should be okay-ish, right? We have, like, a lot of morale. Like 4.4, despite having negative prestige at the moment. Explorer is ready. Valencia has fallen. Let's discover that coastline now that we've got the coastal tiles done. Okay, I'll send just one infantry that way. We'll send... For now, just like half the infantry forward. The cannons can head to, to there.
We probably will need to knock down the Pyrenees Mountain fort in order to get the deal that I want. How goes this Fulani, Bu Bulani, Butakian, whatever they are, thing? Well enough. build regimental camps, but I don't really need the force limit right now. I just need more money. And many factories are also appealing to me. One more hour. Yep, I only have an hour left, unfortunately, and then I've got to got to take a break for a while. I caught spying on Aragon. It's kind of unsurprising. Oh, I thought we had a siege leader. Well, we have a, we have a siege a guy who has siege advantage, but not a siege pip leader. That's relatively fine, I guess. Let's go blockade that, since apparently France is like no navy. I'm going to... Mm, I am going to transfer this to Catalonia. I want to take Catalonia from him, and then I'll pay the diplo points for Barcelona, and then I'm just going to seize Valencia from the subject as soon as we're at peace. It'll probably piss him off, but it's necessary for me to form Spain, and... Um, if I don't do it, I have to pay a lot of Diplo points, and we're only one year ahead of time on Dip, so I really can't afford to waste Diplo points right now. I don't know why France is just allowing Aragon to come up here and murder him. I wonder if he's done this thing where he's got, like, all of his troops down on the island somewhere or something. I don't see France trying to colonize anywhere. That from right there. Castile is stealing one of the islands. Silly guy. Well, he's going to become a subject soon, so I guess it won't matter, right? Radical reforms. We got the inflation guy and the trade efficiency guy. I just paid a lot of money to, to raise this guy up to level 4. If I do this, I can get Monarch Points, but I have to kick him out. And you lose the advisor. Still, it's potentially 400 Monarch Points, and we're about to lose our ahead of time bonus. Or we can get 5 Mercantilism. Hmm. One stab is worth about 100 admin. Uh, apparently my flashy flashy thing went broken, so I gotta take a break here. <laughs> I'll be back in the next episode. Thanks for watching guys. We'll consider this for a moment and then be back in a sec.